this is where the action is at. We're coming to you live from Bay Oval in Mount Monganui as Pakistan go in search of a first ever win. Australia won the toss a little bit earlier and decided to have a bowl. And there goes the Pakistan side. One change for them. Javeria Khan out. Ahida Khan comes in at the top of the order. They'll be looking for a better batting performance, especially from the top order today against Australia. Very good afternoon to Lisa Stalaker. Two changes for Australia today. Yeah, two changes. And I certainly think Darcy Brown having a rest. She's a young, fast bowler. They'll want to manage her. But also the fact that Nicola Carey comes in as well for Talia McGrath. I've heard that, that she may have a slight heel injury, foot injury. But I'm really excited to see that Wellington and King will get an opportunity to go out there. Two leggies. Edged and out. Nice piece of bowling from Megan Shoot. It worked, it's gone to plan. Comfortable catch and Pakistan lose their first. Yeah, we're seeing again Nahida just pushing out in front of her bat, of her front pad. It's Nahida Khan, she goes for nine. It's 11 for one. Edged and taken. Lovely piece of bowling. It didn't need the second slip because it went straight to first. And all of a sudden, Australia have two high fives all round. Perry and Shoot are putting the ball in the right areas. That difficult length, do I go forward, do I go back? In the end, just poked at the ball. Fine edge goes to Meg Lanning. She takes it. Sidra Amin, she goes for two. And Pakistan are 11 for two. Lovely shot, finds the gap at point. Just ease through that region, but I'll tell you what, this outfield is lightning. And it's going to run away for four. Rachel Haynes, valiant dive at the end, but couldn't pull it back in. Nice boundary. Glorious. No need to run for that. That is perfect in terms of a cover drive. Hard to better. Yeah! Oh, she's done it with a wrong one. Oh, my goodness. This girl has got some special stuff. So I thought it was a wrong and it wasn't. It was orthodox, but it just skittered. It just kept coming. Umayma, who was looking good, has to walk back for 12. Pakistan, 38 for 3. Yes! Gone, just gone like that. What a feel, placing, and what a piece of captaincy too. Instinct would say, keep going with King. She goes straight to Wellington with that extra loop, spots something, and it pays a very, very quick dividend. Neda has to go back for five. Pakistan, 44 for four. Yes! That's the question. Doesn't any great support from Healy, it's fair to say, King. Oh, and a chance, but it was a hard one to the right of Lanning. And uh, she was trying to get out of the way there. It was uh, going uh, at a fair rate of knots there. It was Alex Perry, but uh, these are tough chances, these. If they stick onto the hands, it's fine. If they don't, it's fine as well. Lovely shot. You haven't had much to work with the Pakistanis. What a beautiful late cut. Oh! Oh, in between. Maybe she got something on it as well. Sutherland can't drag it back in. Running as well, non-striker. Call early. One thing that the, I hope the Pakistan side is, is looking at how Australia are managing the field. Well, she goes aerial this time, and what a beautiful strike it is. It's nicely played. Late cut that is going to run away for four. A lovely way to bring up 50. It is the skipper's 15th score of 50 plus, but her first after coming back from maternity leave. Nicely played. Worked away behind square, and that might run away for four at will. Nice way. Balia Riaz to bring up her fifth ODI half century for Pakistan and her first at the World Cup. She gets to her half century with a clever little shot going across the stumps and just lapping it fine. 
Pakistan need a lot more boundaries now. Oh, nice piece of bowling. That's out. Carry outstanding. I think they're going to go upstairs and have a look, but that was very skillful. Ball tracking coming through, pitching outside off, the impact in line, wickets hitting. Kim, I'm going to ask you to stay with your out decision. I'll tell you when you're on screen. You're on screen now, make the signal. Good decision by umpire Thank Kim you. Cotton. She got it right. And it means an end for Alia Riaz, who played beautifully. Now that's a better shot. Just a little bit of room outside leg stump to create the opportunity to free the arms, and that's gorgeous. Oh, oh well, Alyssa Healy, I'm not sure she had the ball when she did this. I think she thinks she did. It was a real juggling act. It was pretty ugly all round, to be fair, but is it effective? If it is, it's the skipper gone. Glove work pretty good there, just a little nick. And Fatima has said, yep, I'm not going to appeal that one. That is out. Good catch. Fatima Sana has to go for 14. Pakistan, 177 for six. Oh. This time she goes through, and uh, that was a glorious shot to end the innings. Pakistan will get to 190, and for the skipper, this is uh, pa uh, Pakistan's fourth highest total in World Cup game. She'll be happy with that. So winning the toss this morning, Meg Lanning asking Pakistan to bat the early wickets of uh, Nahida and Amin, uh, and then Maima and Da. So at that point, Pakistan were in quite a lot of trouble. But they had a, a great partnership of 99 runs for the fifth wicket between Bismar uh, and, of course, Aliyah. And uh, they were half century makers between them. Alia going for 53, Bismarck carrying on to 78, not out. The second highest score by uh, Pakistani batsmen in World, women's World Cups. 191 for Australia. That is their target to go two from two and maintain that favourites mantle in uh, this World Cup. Pakistan's second highest total against Australia ever. Oh, what a shot that is. Just a touch short. Haynes has whacked that through mid-wicket for four. Gee, she was onto that quick. Pulled away in the air and put down. Wow, got a right hand to it. It was a good effort. It was hit hard, and maybe that just saved Healy in the long run. Well, it's a substitute fielder that's out there. Short. And actually moved well. Got good... She moved well, got two hands to it. Got to take those chances. Go down, go yeah, on. put down another one. That was an easier one. Dars put it down off her own bowling. Seven overs bowled. Australia 38 without loss. Oh, that's a lovely shot. Good use of the feet. A couple of bounces will race away for four. Nice shot from Healy. Hit the ball in the air. That's a lovely sweep shot. Look at the timing and the placement. Another boundary. And it is raining boundaries now. Real concern for Pakistan. In the air and out. In the air and out. Pakistan hold on to one. They pick up their first. They're going to check the front foot just to make sure that she's behind the line. That looks fine. Just. Just. Good catch. Excellent catch by the skipper. Australia is their first wicket for 60. That's a great option. It really is very clever batting. Mid off back, right down there on the fence, but Healy deciding to get to the pitch of it and hit it straighter against what spin might be there. Fine batting. That's a better shot. That is just a terrific cricket shot. Just waited, waited over mid on one delivery. Placement, how's the placement? Good enough for two. 100 up for Australia and just the 18th over. 
it was almost a swap. Thinking about it now, the shot that she played it was almost just a swap. And Elisa Healy gets her half century. Her second in women's World Cups and her 14th in one day internationals to go along with the three centuries. Huge amount of turn, indecision for Lanning, and Pakistan pick up their second wicket. And yes, that is what Omaima can do. Sometimes he can put a lot of revolution on the ball. Lanning has to walk back for 35, Australia 123 for two. And goes over that offside, finds the gap perfectly. Here's a chance. And a great catch, great presence by Sandu to get rid of the dangerous Healy. Lisa Healy has been really good with using her feet this time, couldn't time it properly, wasn't from the middle of the bat, and Nashra Sandhu making no mistake, takes a comfortable catch and smiles all around for Pakistan. Healy has to walk back after a wonderful 72, Australia 153 for three. Full of this time and finding the gap between the two players out on the offside. Don't think it'll get there, will it? No, some excellent desperation. Straight down the ground, it's uh, got a bit on it. But it's, oh, and Diana, we've been building up her fielding all afternoon and all evening, and finally she makes a mistake. This time it's through. And what a way to end this match with a really classy cricket shot through the covers. It has been that kind of day for Australia. Their precision, their skills have been superior. We thought that may well be the case, but you've still got to come to the ground and do it. And the team in yellow have done it today. Absolutely. Very convincing win. Australia win by seven wickets, 15 overs to go. 190 for six, Pakistan. It was good, but it wasn't good enough by a long stretch to threaten Australia, who won the match in just the 35th over, losing three wickets.